So I want to simplify this. Um, yeah. <coughs> I want to simplify this if potential is zero. If potential energy of the system is zero, then this becomes E psi of x equal to minus h bar square by 2m dou square psi by dou x square. In other words, this becomes uh, E psi of x plus h bar square 2m dou square psi by dou x square equal to 0. Okay? Again, we can, uh, from here, dou square psi by dou x square plus, so if we multiply this, 2m h square e 2m psi of x equal to 0. So this can be written in the terms of the wave number k. So that is a 2m e by h bar square is equal to k square. So if we do that, then this equation becomes dou square, dou, dou square psi by dou x square plus k square psi of x equal to 0. See again, uh, here we are just talking about uh, x parameter here, there is no uh, t, so this also can be written as d square psi by dx square plus k square psi of x equal to 0. So basically, whenever we pick a wave function, the psi, that should, um, that should meet this condition if the potential energy of the system is 0. So if v is equal to 0, then the psi of x function should meet this condition. So d psi of uh, d square psi by dx square plus k square psi of k square psi is equal to 0. This is the condition that needs to be met. So I will uh, summarize what I derived here. So one more thing, maybe we can also replace, uh, find the uh, psi of t by uh, taking this equation. Uh, e is equal to i h bar psi of t dou psi of t by dou t. See again, this is a, even though we say it's a partial derivative and we are talking about only one parameter and this function is of that same parameter, so it doesn't make, make, make sense to call this as a partial derivative. This is same as the regular derivative d of phi of, uh, d of phi of t by dt. So what we can do here is e by h i dt is equal to, basically I'm doing this, uh, d psi of phi of t by phi of t. So if we integrate on both sides, integrate on both sides, so you will get e t, just this is all constant i h bar is equal to logarithm of phi of t. Again, constant at this point, we, we are going to um, ignore the constant. So this can be written as uh, multiply i and numerator and denominator. Then this becomes um, i square, sorry, i by i square t h bar equal to psi of t, which is uh, psi of t is equal to e to the power minus e t by h bar. 
So when we took this uh, uh, big psi function and put it in the parts uh, uh, in, into the uh, two equation, the psi of x and the phi of t, that, that equation can be written as this capital psi of x comma t is equal to small psi of x, then e to the power e t by h. And I'm missing an i. So psi of t, sorry, psi of x of x comma t is equal to psi of x into e to the power minus i h t by h bar. Thank you.